Hello, today is week 12, day four. We have been looking at visual information and um, we've been such as non-word features in books such as pictures, maps, and graphs. The type of visual shown on page 80, page 80 here, is a, um, do you think it's a, well, it's a circle chart, circle graph, or a pie chart? The writer chose to use this information for organization. And the chart shows the daily activities of a girl called Maya. So here we are. This is, it says Maya's day. And the author chose to show what Maya did in a pie chart, circle graph, or circle chart. They can be called any one of those names. Go ahead and study the chart for a second. Again, this says Maya's day, and this is what Maya does. It says being at school, she spends this much time at school. She's, this is eating and bathing, is this much time. Doing homework and chores probably after she gets home from school this much time. Playing with friends, she spends this much time. And sleeping, she sp spends this much time. So she spends quite a bit of time at school and on homework. She also spends quite a bit of time sleeping. It looks like she spends the least amount of time eating and bathing. What does the circle chart show? A, who Maya's friends are. B, how Maya spends time. C, what Maya likes to read. Or D, where Maya's sisters go. Number two, which activity takes the most time? Eating and bathing, playing with friends, being at school, or sleeping? So to figure this answer out, you gotta come back and look at your pie chart again and see which one of these is the biggest space. And that's what she spends the most time doing. Which activity takes the least time? Doing homework and chores, playing with friends, eating and bathing, being at school. Again, you'll have to come up here and see which of these pie pieces is the smallest to tell which takes the least amount of time. Number four, more than half of Maya's day is spent A, eating, bathing, and playing, B, doing homework and chores, C, being at school and sleeping, and D, playing and doing homework and chores. Remember what half means? That's kind of a, a math question. Half the circle would be one half and then another half. So they want to know which two activities together would be more than half. So you'll have to take a look at how much space they would take up there. Discuss with a partner why you think the writer used a circle graph to show information instead of writing it in a paragraph. 